Be empowered. Be strong. Take charge. Speak life. Live life abundantly. Get with it now. You are now entering the chat room. Health chat with Coach Gene, that is, where we debate, debunk, educate, empower, impart, and raise awareness on all things related to health, healing, and holistic well-being, body, mind, and spirit. Let's go. Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, everybody, Lottie Dottie, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Health Chat with Coach Jean. This is your girl, Coach Jean Turner. Thank you so much for joining us here this evening in the chat room from wherever you are live streaming from and from wherever in the world you may be catching the replay from via Pray.com. Freakers, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or iHeart. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I am so grateful to God for the opportunity to bring the awareness, health awareness, that is. And speaking of health awareness, I want to give a special shout out to the beautiful Shaylin Samuels, who is listening from here in the ATL. Atlanta, G-A-U-S-A. She never fails to send shout out to Coach G for bringing health awareness. And look, in honor of Veterans Day, I want to give a corporate shout out to every member of the Armed Forces past and present. Ah, a hearty ah to that. And so look, you know how we do here on Health Chat with Coach G. Head on over to Facebook, Instagram or LinkedIn and post the phrase, shout out to Coach Gene for bringing health awareness for your opportunity to receive a personalized shout out here live, which by the way, yo, it will forever be archived on every platform that Health Chat with Coach Gene is available. So look, go tell a friend, tell a frenemy, tell a foe, tell family, your colleagues, lobby dotty everybody. That Health Chat with Coach Jean is live streaming right now on Spreaker and at Positive Power XXI Radio Network here on Facebook under Jerry Royce, the number 21 on Jerry Royce Live page and Periscope TV. So let us pray real quick. Most gracious Heavenly Father, in your precious Son's name, we thank you for another opportunity to be back here in the chat room. I pray that everyone who is listening now and those who will catch the replay, that they be blessed by something that is shared by me or my featured guests on this episode. I pray for peace, health, healing, and wholeness in their body, mind, and spirit. And it's in your precious son's name. I do ask and pray these things. Amen. And so, look. Are you all ready for an evening of flexing and fitness? Give me a shout out on Facebook and help chat with Coach G. And let me know if you are ready for an evening of flexing and fitness. My featured guest tonight is Dr. Joseph Powell. Dr. Joseph Powell is a doctor of physical therapy, a certified orthopedic manual therapist, and a certified strength and conditioning specialist. In 2007, he became the founder and CEO of Proactive Rehab Physical Therapy and Wellness Center here in the Atlanta AO in Madonna and Conyers, right here in Atlanta, Georgia. He is a clinical instructor to exercise science, physical therapy assistant, and physical therapy graduate student as well as post-professional orthopedic physical therapy residents. And in 2017, Dr. Powell started the Powell Foundation, a nonprofit with a mission to serve the needs of the community by providing grants and scholarships to the underserved who are pursuing higher education. And look, like 
every doctor, okay, he is busy, 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 and more busy, as you can imagine. So what you are about to hear is our health chat that was pre-recorded at an earlier date, but it is loaded with plenty of nuggets on how you can remain fit as you flex and remain fracture-free and strong. So, Batman, are you with me? Roll it, if you will, please. And so I'm going to start out, you know, if you would be so kind, Dr. Powell, just to tell our listeners a little bit about the scope of your practice uh, and, and talk about your wellness center. Sure, sure. Um, so our practice, um, in general, our company began in uh, 2007, um, and we've been in the McDonough area of Georgia um, since that time. Um, in the past two to three years, we branched out to uh, another adjacent city in Conyers and have another uh, clinic there. Um, we offer physical therapy in both clinics. In our main clinic, we also offer aquatic therapy. Uh, and in both clinics as well, we offer a wellness program, which is a supervised fitness program under medical staff. So um, be it either a exercise physiologist or a physical therapist or a personal trainer. At our facilities, um, we have a little bit of, of all three. We have some trainers who are certified strengthening and conditioning coaches, um, as well as exercise physiologists and physical therapists. Um, so we are all trained to, you know, do a wellness program uh, for any client. And the different cases we see um, range from balance in geriatric mm -hmm. clients um, to or general fitness, uh, flexibility improvements um, to the athlete who wants to in the off season increase their speed or their footwork, you know, or increase more lean body mass. So the the goals vary, and we are able to meet all of that. Right. And so, would you say the goals vary depending on what they presented to your practice with, or is it? varies more according to age, how much age and different age uh, groups play a, a play a part in that. Right. Well, so all of that. I mean, we factor in everything because when we sit down with an interview, we, when we sit down for the initial assessment, we want to know all of that. Um, you know, we assess, of course, we, we see what the age of the patient is. And so we're already considering based on the age, okay, what might we be dealing with <clears throat> ahead of time? You know, uh, if we have a 70 plus patient uh, or client that wants to come in, then we're already thinking, OK, flexibility, we probably want to they definitely want to maintain that. Uh, we want to ask uh, when the time is right. Is there any history of loss of balance or falls? You know, uh, are you having any joint pains? Um, what is your history of arthritis, if any? You know, those type of things we are already considering. Uh, as soon as the patient comes, the client comes, I keep saying patients, we see both patients and right. other clients, but uh, that's what we're thinking with the client. Um, just as I'm coming in, just as they come in, if I see an athlete coming in, um, I'm already thinking, okay, they look like, look like football. Okay. Is that a running back? Is that a quarterback? So we're already starting to think, okay, well, if it's, if they're running back, then okay. What is their uh, 40 yard dash? Uh, what's their shuttle run? You know, so those are all things that we consider based on the type of client that comes in the door. Right. Because right. we want every program to be individualized. There is no generic program that we offer, it is completely individualized based on um, what the client's goal is, mm -hmm. any pre existing conditions that may uh, have an effect on our plan of, of programming. Um, and um, we go from there. Right. And so for those that listen, you know, maybe listening to us in the chat room, can you kind of go into why musculoskeletal health is so important? Because I think when we look at overall health and wellness, mm -hmm. you know, most people don't really, they think about losing weight or probably getting their lab values normal or getting their blood pressure normal, their blood sugar levels. But many 
in my opinion, don't even consider the health of their muscles and their bones. So would you mind sure. explaining to those in the chat room why that is so important? Yes. So there are a uh, multitude of reasons <laughs> why <laughs> your musculoskeletal health is important. I'll rush on a few because there are so many. Um, when we are younger, we often take for granted the plasticity of our body, the ability for your body to injure and recover, right? Well, that plasticity, the ability for your body to recover, that slows down. Uh, it becomes impaired as we age. Um, peripheral joints, your joints of, of the arms, the legs, you know, your knees, your ankles, they typically tend to mature um, late teens, early 20s. The spine matures late 20s, early 30s. So imagine that by the time you've hit your 30s, your spine has already matured. That means from here on, <laughs> by the time we hit our 40s and definitely our 50s, there starts to be a downslope in the condition of that skeletal system. Um, as age continues, there is a degenerative change that is natural, unfortunately, to all of us as gravity affects all of our joints. We succumb to that pressure as we age. We're not able to fight against that gravity as much. Um, hence the degenerative changes that we go through, many of us go through. Um, the flexibility of your body will diminish with time. The power uh, that you're and the force that your body is able to exert will diminish naturally. So it's so important to one, not wait to the last minute and you start to feel these effects before you do something. Um, but two, it's, it's just important in general. Uh, I recommend from a, you know, a young age to get that mindset of uh, maintaining the health of your muscle skeletal system in flexibility, mm -hmm in balance, in symmetry of muscle. Um, many, many times, especially in our, in our youth, youth, we may do sports mm -hmm. that a lot of times if a trainer is not appropriately certified, they may focus um, on a particular muscle group without creating balance in the other muscle groups. Of course, that we know now that that leads to muscle injury, you know, um, it's, we're getting better in the field of training and trying to learn, okay, no, we need to approach this differently. Um, but uh, traditionally, we don't focus uh, on those things. So it's very important from a young age to learn about uh, symmetry of the body, functional movements, you know, flexibility, appropriate appropriate rest and work times of your workouts um, in, a, in, a, in a long uh, time frame, what we call it a macro cycle in training. Um, so, you know, learning how to do that now and instilling that in young people now, it'll carry on in your older age. You know, if we can get someone in their late teens, early 20s to start to learn the importance, one, of their musculoskeletal health, um, but then to train them how to uh, properly have that wholeness of body, then by the time you hit that age, when we have these natural degenerative changes, hopefully the impact won't be as much. You know, hopefully the fall risk won't be as much. Hopefully the injuries won't be um, as pertinent, as, a, as a, um, prominent in the body. Um, so it's all about prevention. Having good muscle skeletal health is all about prevention. Um, yes, we can address it if it comes, if you have a problem, but it's so much better to just try to prevent those um, total joint replacements, those backs that go out, you know, um, so much better to try to try to prevent it. Right. And so two things stuck out to me just now. One was that symmetry. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm guilty of that because in two then five, six, when I tore my right rotator cuff over the years, I have overused <laughs> oh, yes. the left, yeah. the left arm and shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that stood out to me was um, 
So I just recently retired from 25 years in the Army. And over the last several years, I've always had the providers that say something to the fact that I had degenerative disc or joint or hip disc or some kind of disease. Right. It's like, so is, is that cause you think of a lot of overuse or the ACE? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Overuse injuries and degenerative changes or, you know what, when we're dealing with overuse injury um, and its long-term effects, that then switches from not just a natural course of breakdown, which would be degeneration, but now we're talking about deterioration, right? So two different things that uh, can affect the body and affect the joints. You have your degeneration, your natural aging process, but to deteriorate would be, um, or one of the causes of deterioration would be an overuse, you know, and we see it time and time again, you know, um, your warehouse worker who has been working for, you know, 15 to 20 years or more in that warehouse, they're going to have a deterioration of certain weight bearing joints because again, a particular joint is constantly stressed. And so that joint is going to deteriorate, you know, um, unfortunately, even the athlete, you know, uh, the, you pick a sport, I can tell you what joint is probably going to have some issues later on, you know. Wow, running, because I've been running yeah. for years. You're yeah. running you know, too. You're talking to a runner, <laughs> so, you know, I am fully aware of what I need to do for longevity in my sport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, you know, those like um, uh, carrying heavy loads over a period of time. That yeah heavy boss like the warehouse workers, the store clerk workers yep. that are in those type of professions, you know, and you know, areas of work to where they're constantly lifting and pulling and dragging and pushing and mm-hmm. ooh, or carrying full battle rattle like us soldiers did. I was going to say, yeah. Time. Yes. Wow. So How about those ruck runs? The ruck know? runs, right. <laughs> and so that would be the disintegration. Right, deterioration. Deterioration, right? Mm-hmm. Deterioration. Right? Yeah, it could be yep. disintegrating too. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, it could. Be, it could lead to some disintegration. <laughs> but yeah, wow. we see that a lot. Military. Oh yeah. Wow. You, you name it. And so, strength training. Share with those in the chat room why that is so important, especially. And now I'm. I just turned fifty-seven. Thank God. Hey. And how does that right. play? a role because I know for a fact, right, as a nurse Mm -hmm. and as a health coach, that strength training is key for those, like, I'm going to say 40 plus and beyond, right? Right. (laughs) You know, because what we don't use, we lose. Yes. Yes. So, Wed, how does that fit into strength training? So, strength training, I, I think the most important thing that sticks out to me is stability, Right. A joint is only as stable as the muscles that cross it, right? So if you don't have the strength of those muscles, you just lost the support that that joint needs. And you have now uh, uh, hastened the the breakdown of that joint. You know, our, our, our body, our joints are meant to be supported by the ligaments that connect those bones, the tendons and muscles that attach to that bone, right? Um, All of that, that has to be healthy, right? So if you don't have the strength in the joints, you don't have the stability in that joint. That means, and if we we translate that to functional situations, that means I I may not be able to stand as long because my knees may bother me or my back may, may bother me. Um, or my ankles and feet may bother me. All of those joints have to be crossed by muscle, right? They're then supported by ligaments, yes. But that muscle, you know, is is, is a huge foundation that's needed. Um, if I don't have that uh, muscle strength, I can't, again, bounce back from injuries as fast, right? Or um, I could prevent, again, injuries, if I have that strength training um, embedded uh, as a part of my my lifestyle, which it has to be a lifestyle, 
and it right. can't be fed, right? Right. You said the key thing right there, and that's what I tell my listeners week in and week out. You have to develop a lifestyle. Wellness is a lifestyle. Right. And every bodily system, every part of our body is all interconnected. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I'm so glad that you said that, Dr. Power. It is a lifestyle. It is. And I think once people start to make that connection, that every part of our body is interconnected. You cannot separate one part from the other. That's mm-hmm. like separating the ankle from the foot the foot from the leg and expecting it to work properly. It's right. not, right? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And so what are three tips that you would share with our listening audience for to maintain, uh, preserve, or, you know, as far as preventing musculoskeletal issues? Muscle well, health. so flexibility, get into a good stretching program, um here's my top three flexibility strength balance that would be my three flexibility strength balance you have those three you're on the right track you are on the right track for injury prevention again for fall prevention um along with that that strength training comes again the component of uh symmetrical strengthening right symmetrical strengthening um should be a huge component of that of those three um but balance strength flexibility that would be my top three and is that across the age continuum no matter what age you are no matter what age you are i remember there was an old research and i would love to look at if there's any other studies that have been done, but when I was in um, grad school, there was a research that had come out. They had tested um, the uh, elderly. Um, I think they called it back then. It was the oldest old or something like that. Like that was the category. So these were 80 to 95 years of it. It was, it was a hundred. It may have been 80 to a hundred. Because when I tell you what the mean age was, it, it, it'll blow your mind. So I believe it went up to 100. And so they did a test. They did a six-week program. They put these clients in a six-week program of flexibility strength um, protocol. Um, they had a um, two groups, your control group, your experimental group. Um, one group received um, flexibility and strength. Some received just strength, some received just flexibility. Well, in all groups, um, flexibility improved. Those who were put on a, on, a, on a program of flexibility, it improved in six weeks. Force production increased as well. Muscle size increased. And guess what the average age at that time was where they determined that a person could no longer increase their flexibility or strength 95 95 years of age was the average get out one could could you know where strength training and flexibility would not show huge improvements so that means from from childhood to early 90s you still your body still has the capacity to increase those variables of force production, of strength, of muscle size, of flexibility. So we don't have to walk around decrepit, right? Wow. You can do something about your your wholeness, you know, mm-hmm. through getting into a good strength training program. Wow, that is phenomenal. Yeah. That is phenomenal. Now, yeah. I do have an aunt, uh, my last living aunt, and she is 89. She'll be 90 next April. Mm-hmm. And she still does housework, yard work, dry, the, the whole nine. Oh, wow. She don't have a walk, no assistive devices, mm. no yes. nada. So I believe that. <laughs> I believe it. Oh, I know, yeah. But it's all according to you know, like you said, that prevention, it goes back to how well are we taking care of our bodies throughout right. Definitely. time. Definitely. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And so 
in the next few minutes, I just want you to know that we have, actually, this is a worldwide podcast. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that we have a huge audience right here in and around the Atlanta area, especially in Latonia. Yes. Statistics show, got a large, large group that listen in the Health Chat with Coach Steve every right here in the ATL. Very good. So I want you to share with our listeners here in the chat room, how can they connect with you, Dr. Powell? Sure, you can reach me. I'm mainly at our McDonough location. Um, that is off of, um, if you're familiar with the area, it'll be off of 155 um, North. Uh, 155 runs through Decatur, but it can run all the way down to Locust Grove. Um, I'm about, the McDonough Clinic would be about, say, 15 to 20 minutes at the most from Lithonia. Um, and that is at 2200 Highway 155 North, Suite 130 in McDonough, Georgia, 30252, not 53. So it has uh, more than one area code. And our number there is 770-320-7840. You can reach us there in our at our Conyers location. That is at 1151 Nortec Drive. And that's Suite A in Conyers, Georgia, 30013. Um, and you know what? It's a shame, but I actually have to look up the phone number there. Sometimes I get mixed up with my numbers. <laughs> um, but I can tell you that real quick. I got it right here. You got it? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you beat me. You beat me. Yes, now that's the McDonough location. Our Conyers Conyers location is 470-276-6449. All right. And that's if you are in the in the Atlanta area. And also Dr. Powell can be also found on social media. So share with them with the world your social media platforms. Yes, you can find us um, on Facebook at Proactive Rehab. Um, You can find us on our website at myproactiverehab.com. And again, our Instagram, which is so terrible that I am not on there as much, but I have uh, my employees that are on there for me. That would also be at Proactive Rehab. Yes, yes. I follow you. I personally follow you on IG. Okay. Yes, I follow you on IG. I'm not on there as much as I am on Facebook. When I am, I do see your posts. I do follow you on both my health chat with Coach Gene IG page. As well as my Fit Foxy 50 and Beyond IG page. We appreciate it. And we appreciate your contributions because uh, your knowledge base uh, has been such a blessing for us as well. So we definitely. Oh, wonderful. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And listen, if someone wanted to reach out, and I'm talking to our listeners now, if you are interested in even reaching out about his wellness center, the wellness programs they offer, or maybe are interested in starting wellness centers and wellness programs wherever you sure. are here in the United States or even overseas. Yes. Get in touch with Dr. Powell. Yes, do you want to do. just mention a little bit more about the wellness, the wellness center portion? Sure. To explain a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, so typically in the wellness program, um, we want to know again, your whole medical history, because your medical history is going to affect what we do. Uh, with our programming. Uh, We don't want you doing uh, burpees and you have a recent history of a total hip or total knee, right? (laughs) So we want to know everything. We want to know the surgical history, the medical, the uh, any systemic illness history, you know, all of that affects what we do. You know, again, it is, it has to be very specific Um, in any type of programming. It has to be specific um, it also needs to be functional. You know, we we believe in functional movement training as a part of your whole training. And your whole training should consist of strength, power, endurance, aerobic conditioning, flexibility. All of those things uh, need to be incorporated in a, in a well put together uh, wellness program. Um, mm-hmm. And then it needs to be modified um, routinely. If you continue with the same routine, the body will adapt and it will not change. So, you know, we typically 
uh, every two to three weeks, we change the program. And it'll be, we could change the variables. We could change the amount of reps. We could change the type of weight, or we could completely change the exercise for the same muscle group. You know, so there's multiple ways to shock the system, you know, based on how you do your programming. We can increase the speed at which you do the exercise, right? So there's multiple ways to to change it, but it doesn't need to be changed. Um, you have to. Your body is fearfully and wonderfully made, and it can adapt very well up as a part of that. So, yeah, we do have to change up the routine. Um, it is good that at, that, at, those, at those points where we do change, that we can also uh, talk about how do you feel in your program? You know, are there any uh, improvements that you would like to see that we're not doing? You know, so it allows us to reevaluate uh, how things are also. And then it allows us to look back and say, hey, this is where you started. Look at where you are now. You know, if it was a patient who was um, had a goal of weight loss, then let's, okay, look at your BMI, you know, Look at what it was before. Look at your percentage of body fat where it was before. Look where it is now. So this is another way also for us to show them the improvements that they've made. Right, right. You're doing great stuff over there, Dr. Powell. And, you know, I've been very transparent with my listening audience, and I'll be the first to tell them, yes, I am a, was a patient of yours. <laughs> and, yes, those of y'all in the chat room, they do great work. I mean, look at my eyes. Hey, I'm just hurt. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> but I am getting tired of the treadmill. I got to switch it up. My body yeah, is that it now. Up. So I got it. I got to get back into doing some other things like I used to before everything that happens, you know. Yeah. So well, I'll tell I you. Be reaching out. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a tip that um, I strongly stand by is the use of body weight for exercise. You do not always have to have a resistive band or a weight. There are a lot of body weight based exercises that will have you dripping with sweat. Um, and the benefit of a body weight type of program is the longevity of it, right? right? We name a, a, a guy may not always be able to squat that 225 or 300 pound uh, <laughs> weight on their back, but we can do some air squats, right? Wow. We can do some chair squats, you know, right. we can do some lunges without any weight in multiple directions. Again, working on that some symmetry of, of exercise. Wow. So body weight, um, I'm a big proponent of body weight exercises. Wow. And that's there's good. joint preservation in that. Uh-huh. Okay. See, that's good stuff. So again, if you are listening in the chat room, y'all got to reach out to Dr. Powell. Dr. Powell, give them your give them your IG, Facebook, email, yes. and website once again so they can reach out to you for that that body weight, you know, just it's just them and just them. <laughs> equipment, no nothing. You can still you can still work out on and build your it. muscles and bones. Yes. So again, our website is myproactiverehab.com. Um, our Instagram is proactive rehab. Um, our Facebook, you can find us at proactive rehab as well. Um, what else am I missing? Our email, email address, the main company address is proactive rehab PT, as in physical therapy, um, at gmail.com. Wonderful, wonderful. Dr. Powell, I thank you so much. Thank you oh, for having me. For joining <laughs> me in the chat room. Thank you so much. You've that been was so gracious. Fun. Thank you for your patience. And no problem. Oh, wow. I just appreciate you so much. And hey, um, that concludes our interview. I'm going to give this to my producer, let him edit the before and after and get the thick of it. And as soon as he gets it edited, do a promo, I'll send it to you with the dates that this will air. Sounds great. (laughs) I I appreciate you so much. I'm going to get that to you. You're listening to Jerusalem Worldwide Podcast. Hey, 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 Batman, you on? Batman is here. Hey, good evening, Batman. Hey, hey. How are you? 
I'm all right, Doc. I had to listen. I was lifting some weights in here while I was listening to the good doctor. I was about to ask. That's why I wanted you to come on because I know you are weight weight lifter. You know that's your thing. That's what you do. So, what what did you think? What was what was some of your takeaways? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I like I like the main thing about the body weights. I never thought about that. I've seen guys and women in the gym doing those, and I noticed they do have well defined legs. So, um, you know, I think I'm, I'm going to look into that, especially because I do five miles. And some days, like today, we got a lot of rain. So I only went out with the dog. My wife didn't want to do it because her hair. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I couldn't get it in. I couldn't get my five in. There you go. You yep. can use your body weight. We so busy trying to use bands and five and ten and twenty and do all this heavy work. You use your body. I didn't really think of it neither until Dr. Powell said it. I was yeah, like, neither. what? Yeah. I could do push up off the wall now, you know. I was like, wow, wow. So a lot of good nuggets there. And then, you know, um, some of my takeaways, you know, um, of course, you don't need weights and bands. You can use your body, you know, mm-hmm. for weight. You get into a good stretching program and flexibility, strength, and balance being keys for preventing injuries and falls and you know, that we can do that, that we can maintain musculoskeletal health no matter what age we are, from childhood all up to age continuum. Right. So I got a lot of good nuggets. Yeah, I like the fact that, you know, he kind of reminds me of what I heard a, another guy was talking about. Use what you already have, but just add more to it. So just think about how many times I have to go up the steps to run to the kitchen, get a cup of coffee, get breakfast, and then come right back down again. That that that's that could, that's exercise, and I could just add more to it. So I, I love what he was saying. Yeah, yeah, it was dope. It was a dope interview, and so yeah, and so um, for those of y'all listening to us right now here in the chat room, what are your takeaways from Dr. Powell? Hit us up on Facebook at Health Chat with Coach Gene under the promo for tonight's show, or if you are live streaming on Facebook. Share your takeaway from the night show, from tonight's show right there under the live stream. And hey, remember that every aspect of what makes us human is interconnected. We are body, mind, emotional, social, and spiritual beings. And like I always say, any imbalance in any one of these areas creates disharmony throughout our whole being. So don't neglect any of these areas especially remember that we are spirit beings. And so, look, I'm always going to tell you to get to know God for yourself as your personal savior. You know, sometimes, especially here in Christendom, we can make it seem as if God is so unattainable when the reality is he's right here with us. He's right here within our reach, within our grasp. So ask him to come into your heart, ask him to lead and guide you and give you the clarity and direction you need for your health and healing and wholeness. And so thank you so much, Jerry. I appreciate your input. Thank you for joining me. You got one more thing? Yeah, one more thing. I know I know we mentioned this before, how um, sometimes you have to find something to uh, compete for to make you want to, you know, kind of like you're really training. You know, let's think about it. How you want to get up every day or every other day to exercise when you really don't have no goals or you're not competing in, in sports anymore? You know, like you and I, you, you ran marathons. I did 5Ks and I trained for that. But just think about those who really don't wish to do that. Just look at some of the people who have benefited from exercise. I just saw a guy on Facebook, 70 years old. He looked like and he he had a picture. You know, they got that new thing going on. That's like what you look like your first picture on Facebook up to now. He showed one when he was 60. And he looked like he was 80, <laughs> but he was 70. He looked like he's in his 50s now because he's been working out. He was all cut up. And and, and Mike Tyson, too. Mike Tyson hasn't, hasn't aged a bit since he's been training for another fight, which I'm, I'm not sure is going to happen. But I think uh, resistant weight training has so many benefits, just like I told you about how it helped me reverse diabetes. It has, it's something to that. And I know you know what it is since you're a nurse. So that's my take. It is something to that. Yeah, and I thank you for sharing that. And I hope that our listening audience is hearing every heard every word you said. It is something to that. It's something to the exercise. Um, and 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 you know, 
in conjunction with our interview tonight with Dr. Powell, you know, that flexibility, that strength, that balance, that conditioning, you know, of our heart and our other organs, all of that comes into play. It's all interconnected. So I thank you, Batman, for jumping Jump in, you know, he, in, in the chat room real quick. I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but I know that you do. You weight train. That's your thing. And that it did help to reverse your diabetes. So exercise and strength training is huge when it comes to a health and wellness regimen. And so listen, join me, um, if you will, this coming Sunday, November. 15th, I believe. Yes, at 8 p.m. Join me here on Facebook on Health Chat with Coach Jean for Sunday self care sessions. If you got 30 minutes to spare, you got 30 minutes to join me for Sunday self care sessions this coming Sunday, right on Facebook on my Health Chat with Coach Jean page. And join us next week here in the chat room as my featured guest and I will be having a good old chat on the topic of sexual healing. Yes, I said it. That's right. Sexual healing. Okay. So this net is for adults only, married folks only, but I promise we're going to behave. Okay. Batman, we're going to behave. I promise. (laughs) (laughs) No problem. Grown folks live here. (laughs) But thank you to my future guest this episode, Dr. Joseph Powell, from Proactive Rehab Physical Therapy and Wellness Center right here in the ATL Hotlanta AO to my producer, the Batman of Charm City, Mr. Jerry Royce Live, and to all of you, my listening audience, thank you so much for your faithfulness. It is always my prayer that something said here in the chat room will help you on your journey to health, healing, and wholeness, body, mind, and spirit. So I wish you all peace and health. God bless you and good night. Thank you for joining us for another episode here in the chat room. Health chat with Coach Jean, that is. Until next time, if God says the same, I pray peace, health, love, and well-being for you and your family. God bless you. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live.